Hello everyone and welcome once again to another commentary video. This time we are gonna cover Quack Cup uh, Round 1, uh, which is another tournament site. Uh, if you are not aware yet, uh, they have uh, made a comeback. Uh, the first one of them to make uh, to make a comeback was the standard one, the Mariner Cup. I covered the first round, a couple of matches. It was uh, in a very interesting map. And this is going to be about uh, a, a cap that is more uh, around wacky maps uh, and gimmicky, gimmicks. I don't know if the entirety of the cap is going to be high fans. This is a high fans ma um, match in a very weird map, escaping from Akaham or something like that. It's a reference to to Harry Potter. If I have to guess, look, there is a basically um. Uh, a jail, uh, a cage of pipes around the map. Uh, but anyways, let's talk first about the players involved in this match. This is uh, Lazy Boy against uh, Ben Warmer. Both players are quite strong, uh, almost on the 1300s. I have already covered Lazy Boy. He is uh, the one from uh, the yes match in uh, choosing reservoir, uh, one of my latest videos, and yeah, they they are quite uh, strong, and let's see how they do, because this is a very interesting map. Um, Quick note from Phoenix editor here myself. Uh, I was talking about Grid being weak on high fans, and yes, uh, Grid is weaker on high fans than in a standard or normal fog but he certainly is not bottom tier, as I was saying, so I, I basically cut that part entirely, and the reason for that is I was completely uh, wrong, and as you can see, this is a high fans tier list. It can vary uh, depending on the map, so take it uh, I, as a rule of thumb. Greed uh, on this map, uh, and uh, is not, normally grit is not very good on high fans, and the reason for that is uh, well, no, not very good. He can be very good. The, the problem is he doesn't benefit as much as other CEOs with the mm, higher tech up units because he don't cares about getting a a battleship or a carrier as much as uh, Eagle would care about getting a fighter, a bomber every single turn. So yeah, and also carriers and battleships are can, can be very powerful situationally, but uh, at the end of the day they are very mobile because they can only move through sea tiles and ports. And uh, Grid uh, really likes to spam cheap units such as artillery or maybe rockets, but rockets are very very slow uh, because they move through tires. And yeah, on this map. Uh, Grid uh, has the pipe runner going for him, that is quite uh, an advantage because if you look at the number of bases, there is only two per side and then one locked base that can only wheel pipe runners. So that basically is saying that um, Grid will have more units than Max, and that's not normally the case because uh, Max, uh, if he ever faces a Grid. It can happen on Fog in Global League. Uh, he is gonna use uh, the airport as much as possible, and that will mean that uh, Max will will more units, but Grid will have the better KDA normally. Uh, and that's not the case on this map. Also, as you can see, there is a diagonal dividing the map, very choky. There is a, a lot of um, um, planes which are gonna slow down uh, recons that can be useful because the, the income on this map is not super high for high, uh, high fans standards. So uh, you won't be able to, to wield double Neotank or something like that. You will probably uh, will have to wield Copter, maybe a Recon and maybe then a, a big tank. Uh, and yeah, <clears throat> that's basically all I was saying uh, about Greed and, and Max uh, matchup. Uh, hope you don't get too confused. And yeah, 
thank you uh, let's back uh, to, to to the video let's get and as you can see there is uh, two laps acting as hqs if there is no hqs on the map laps will act as the hq and the difference is that labs don't repair units and have three defense stars and also don't give income and also these uh, com towers on the corners uh, which means basically you can uh, protect uh, or attack or lock the com towers uh, easily somewhat with uh, pipe runners um, something that Max definitely doesn't like and let's see how it goes because this is going to be a very interesting match I'm following uh, one another match on this map which is a uh, grid against Javier and it's looking very interesting I might uh, cover it on the future if I think it's worth it but anyways let's use a strange jab into the match and let's see how it goes I think I didn't forget anything on the introduction but as you ah yeah as you can see this city is pre-capture by um, purple player Par purple player is player 2 and that means that uh, bench warmer will have an advantage of first player so in order to counter that um, uh, property is given to lazy boy so that counters balance the, the, the income and everything uh, map makers uh, map comité have decided that this is the best way in order to to counter that in high fans matches um, in Falcon in the standard you normally uh, have enough with one extra infantry but this is not enough for high fans and as you can see uh, this is already very uh, satisfying to see at least for me this infantry is going straight uh, for this city instead of this one and this one uh, who capped the city that was um, captured by the, the purple now gets a boost on the APC and will capture this in one turn so this wouldn't have been possible um, without it the APC but also uh, this APC will boost this um, well will transport this infantry what this just happened here is not possible on the card games and it's called a boost a boosty and it's very important to use them properly in order to make up the most for your transports and it's very important because it will make a one turn difference between getting a property uh, earlier or not and that might be also the difference between maintaining that property or not so very 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 important as you can see this APC boost uh, this infantry uh, into this property now so that's already uh, two turns saved and Max is going tanks, Grit is going artillery uh, what you have to keep in mind is that you really want to break this pipe as soon as possible because the sooner you break it the sooner you will have a helicopter that can be useful but most importantly you will have access to the airport and Grid doesn't care too much about the airport excuse me but Max really 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 needs the airport to overcome Grid in my opinion at least in high fans uh, and Grid uh, wouldn't mind to have a fighter to try to counter the coming bombers uh, the thing here in this map is uh, since the pipes uh, are around the map uh, there is only one tail uh, available to attack the pipe runners uh, so if you are able to put an infantry or whatever in front of the pipe runner it might lift to see uh, the day of light of the next turn so that might be very important the the thinking high fans is uh, there are such a uh, tech up units uh, which makes it very hard for um, for grid to wall against um, bigger vehicles with infantry so that's why uh, grid is not as good in um, in high fans and as you can see pipe runners are insanely fast only well, saying one two three four five six seven eight nine they are basically recons on pipes um, but look at the range and this is a great one I don't 
one, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, it shows properly the extra range of read. And this is amazing because it not only targets ground units, but it also targets air units and it deals a lot of damage. They are quite, quite fragile, but uh, I think they take as much damage as a normal tank, which is not something very good considering this is a high fan match and you are gonna be seeing a lot of big uh, tanks and bombers. But as you can see, this pipe runner is already uh, making um, Max thinks uh, twice about uh, being aggressive here, and this mountain uh, completely prevents any ground unit from attacking it. So this is great because uh, these properties are uh, are going to be uh, for read no matter what. <clears throat> and uh, Max cannot do the same here. Uh, and he's been locked uh, away from these uh, two cities right now so he needs to, to do something as you can see it's a very little map normally high fans are not as little but um, okay this infantry might look weird but uh, um, probably Max is not planning to build more infantry at least from this base now so he's gonna take uh, two shots with two medium tanks, one now on the next one. Th that's why it looks like there is two medium tanks, because this medium tank uh, shoot the pipes in. And the uh, replayer uh, doesn't register uh, the attacks, the lock doesn't register attacks on pipes, and that's why it's not uh, updated un until the beginning of the very next turn. But anyways, as you can see, this pipe is already sitting at 27 HP. It's going to be broken next turn. And next turn, uh, there are going to be a T-Copter running around. And also, the airport is going to start getting captured. Very, very important. And we see a Neotank by Grid. Uh, they are not going to do great uh, against other medium tanks from Max or, or Neotanks. I mean, they are going to do decent against medium tanks but uh, mostly they are here in order to to deal with tanks which they are gonna do immensely well they are not gonna be able to one shot them but they are gonna be able to basically uh, counter them and wall and that's the most important thing sometimes as grid you will a medium tank or a big tank just for the sake of walling with it and be able to hold your line with your index and as you can see grid uh, broke the pipe as well uh, i didn't notice because th there was no animation since i already told you uh, the, the lock doesn't register that but uh, it looks like um the comp tower for max is secure he has not uh, these uh, cities in comparison to to grid but that's fine in my opinion green grid doesn't get as much uh, benefit from um, from income as max good and it's gonna be all right because yeah i i think max would uh, as long as max is able to spam tanks and now then air units uh, he's gonna be he's gonna be all right but the problem is uh, he needs to to stop grid from from walling up and that's something that uh, it's gonna be very hard to do I don't think max I mean the, the, the problem if you pick um, Javier for example on this map is that you are gonna be forced to fight without comp towers until you get one and you, your opponent for example, imagine you are facing Bombol. Bombol doesn't care about getting the comp tower. He's just gonna um, make sure you don't get the comp tower, and you are gonna be a 0 0 CO against a 10 10 CO fighting um, for the comp tower. And Javier might win against Grid. That's that's open for discussion, but Javier doesn't like to fight any other CO. Uh, than uh, than grid here, certainly. He would hard lose against Max because he would be basically 
a, a budget uh, bomble. And let's see, a lot of medium tanks by um, by Max. And he uh, needs to to get uh, bombers right away. I couldn't go for the copters for one simple reason. You need to wall break and copters uh, by Max are very amazing. But um, they are not going to be able to wall break infantry. But you have the medium tank to do that, right? So I, I, couldn't go, I could go for the bomber basically and and get a uh, i was i was gonna say a recon to to follow up the the wall break uh, by the bomber but but the problem is that there is a lot of planes on this map so recons could be quite slow i mean they wouldn't be slow up here but uh certainly your 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 stronger side your uh, is this area right here because of the airport you want to to fight here more and here if you are not able to to deny the com tower the only thing you can do is try to deny these cities which is very hard as as max and and yeah I, also one one thing i just realized now if you get the airport early as grid here you won't be able to use a pipe runner into the right so you have to get the pipe runner as soon as possible get it to the right and then uh, spam the pipe runners to the to the left so if you get if you get the airport you will deny uh, your pipe runners from going to the right and it's not like you can go all the way around because the other pipe is broken so now pipe runners are locked in this part of the map and you could um, also break this pipe and this pipe so uh, if you manage to to do that somehow you are locking uh, pipe runners away from your opponent and that's a very interesting mechanic um, because um, if you hit something you are gonna be you, you are changing the the map and no, normally it only affects you because it's blocking your ground units from from moving but it's very interesting. Anyways, uh, Max interrupts the capture, and there's gonna be uh, um, yeah. This uh, this is getting dying, and this medium tank is getting first strike. Even if it's a medium tank by Max, there, this is a neo tank, and it's on road, so it's gonna do uh, quite a lot of damage. And there is uh, two artillery coming in order to to help this neo tank. The problem is that there is two medium tanks also on the way and uh, next turn if this medium tank gets shoot it should be close uh, to, to get a uh, max force so that's that's quite a scary uh, grid has to be careful grid uh, chooses instead of use uh, hitting the medium tank with a pipe runner and hitting the um, the other wow that was a high like roll uh, hitting the, the tank with the neo tank which I think it's the right choice as you can see now uh, you cannot uh, two hit KO this neo tank because of this helicopter and this infantry here and also it's covered by this do artillery and this pipe runner so even though that means you are not capturing the com tower it's fine because you are getting a nice position that buys you time to get more indirect and get that critical mass that grid wants and on the, on the left uh, it's looking very rough because there are already three pipe runners and they remember they not only target ground units but air units and max last turn will a bomber so grid basically counters that with a fighter a fighter by <coughs> by grid is completely fine it's not gonna do a one shot into a bomber but it's gonna do enough damage in order to cripple that bomber enough to not be able to wall break so that's fine that's completely fine and okay <coughs> max sacks these uh, two medium tanks in order to get um, the max force and then the first strike on the on the neo tank but let's see good 
that's a good wall break. It's not gonna be enough because there is still five indirects left and there is uh, four units left uh, in range of being attacked. So <clears throat> the problem is that there is not gonna be yeah, it's... Oh, there is a hit also here. It's looking quite interesting. I'm not gonna lie. But I think this favors uh, Grit slightly. Because at the end of the day, you are... You are fighting... <coughs> very close to the base. And you are gonna get a strike back quite heavily. Look, uh, Grit can do the power and then... Uh, do the power next turn uh, so yeah it's a power not super power remember the super power and power by grid gives the same uh, fire power it only gives one extra range which can be very useful but normally you don't want to use it so let's see <clears throat> that both medium tanks die but there are two normal tanks left to to hit the stuff And now uh, Lazy Boy just chooses to keep capping and now this is gonna force um, Bench Warmer to sack another tank in order to interrupt the cap and that's just bleeding uh, more units. And since uh, Bench Warmer has no anti-air, this bomber even though it's against a grid fighter it's not gonna be... <coughs> It's not going to be enough uh, in order to to help here, and I don't know if I agree with this helicopter movement. If you put it here, uh, they would be forced to attack. Um, I mean, yeah, it basically blocks this tank from attacking this artillery. So yeah, I guess it's it's fair, but yeah, yeah, it's fair. It's fair, I didn't say anything. I was just thinking, oh, make them attack from roads. But... Okay. This... This is looking good for Max, but I don't think it's enough. The airport can reinforce now, and the pipe runners are still gonna hit two targets per turn. Yeah, uh, this is... This is this push is falling, and look, this trap is also... Uh, this tank is trapped, so I mean, it can shoot this artillery here, but it's gonna die next turn to the Neo tank. And you can protect uh, the tank from being attacked by the base, but it's looking very sketchy. Nonetheless, nonetheless, it's not looking terrible for Max because look at his income, but remember. Um, Grid doesn't care too much about income as long as he's able to to answer uh, fighters and bombers and keep spamming the artillery. Although he certainly would love to be able to build some pipe runners more. I think two is enough to be honest. Because right now these pipe runners are not gonna be useful on the right. And yeah, yeah, a good just bring this pipe runner on onto the base and I think it gets repaired so I could bring it to the base and repair it if you didn't know pipe runners can move through bases not only pipes it's very weird but I, I guess it makes sense okay so grid uh, uses the the power to one shot this infantry and get a shoot at the bomber and that's that's dev devastating because uh, now this is a normal fighter. Why? Because it gets the comm tower, that's extra 10% and the power activated even though it doesn't directly buff uh, direct units from grid, uh, it gets the 10, 10 global uh, stats which is enough to make it a normal fighter. So a normal fighter is gonna be able to one shot a bomber unless there is a defense present so yeah that's good enough uh, a fighter by by grid and all these tanks are dying and this pipe runner didn't shoot yet 
I guess uh, he's thinking about what shooting, but he's just taking the engagement, the last. Huh? He didn't. Why you didn't shoot? You didn't want to give uh, Max Blast? Or why was it? Maybe, maybe it shoot a, pi a pipe? No, it didn't shoot a pipe. I mean, because of the animation not showing. Um, okay, mm, looks like Lazy Boy uh, was too lazy to use the last pipe runner, I guess. Or maybe he just uh, forgot. But anyways, let's see a Max Force because Max has to do something here. Uh, he's gonna be able to shoot another pipe runner, and that's that's quite important because this is a 20k uh, value unit, and Grit is not in the position, even though it looks very very good uh, for grid in the sense of uh, map control i'm not very good good enough uh, the, uh, he's not good on the um, on the income i mean he's not bad neither i could certainly uh, try to to spam copters and make grid um, anti-air get crazy so if it brings the anti-air here you can just go to all the other way of the map which basically is lock as you can see there is a barrier a natural barrier dividing uh, in a dia diagonal the map and the only way you can get through that diagonal is through this forest here very awkwardly so unless you have a missile or a pipe runner here or a fighter if you front switch uh, this copter is gonna rain free there is this pipe runner but uh, still, this uh, artillery is not covered by the pipe runner. And this copter could certainly hit this artillery on powers, but uh, it's not gonna have the extra movement the next turn. So let's see what happens, because Grit it's completely fine chilling, not pushing, and trying to stall the situation. But what he really needs to do is to save these pipe runners, in my opinion. He would really need to bring them back onto the base, repair them, or do something about it. Because uh, you could certainly sack this 4 HP tank and this 4 HP tank uh, to kill the pipe runners. Uh, those are two less uh, pipe runners. Uh, I mean, what else is gonna do this? This can run away. Uh, you can try to run away with the 4 HP and shoot with uh, 1 HP. I don't think, uh, I mean, it's a lack roll, but um, yeah. And as you can see here, the push by Max is completely not uh, going well for him, but instead he decides to shoot at the anti air. I think it's fine because a weakened anti air by grid is not as uh, threatening as any other uh, CO that gets boosts. For example, a Jake uh, 5 HP anti-air on planes is gonna do plenty of job, but if you manage to endure a, a great anti-air, that's not gonna be able to one-shot. I mean, a 7 HP is still gonna be able to do a lot of job, but as you can see, the copter attack the anti-air, and that's something you can do. If it's uh, if the anti air is exposed and it got a bit damaged, okay. So so Bench Warmer is trying to to front switch here and try to basically ignore this front, but that might come to bite uh, him back because uh, Grit can now push into this area and try to to lap cap. So let's see how how it goes because Grit is now recovering. On income a little bit and he's about to get a lot of kills here look grid uh, firepower sewing how little damage he can do sometimes he is forced to interrupt this cap like he has to and he wills a mega tank probably the reason to build a mega tank here is in order to to wall break anything that um, Bench Warmer brings, but it's not needed in the sense that you already have two medium tanks, one neo tank without any threat. But I guess uh, if you manage to clean this up and see it on the HQ with the mega tank, 
you are gonna be completely safe for a lap cap and you are gonna threaten a lap cap and that's gonna be very good for you. But let's see. Grid doesn't push too much, just start capping this uh, which is covered by the by the artillery and that's it. I think you should have been a little more um, like bring these uh, two spaces so it uh, covers uh, the capture, maybe move this artillery a little bit so they are covered by the pipe runner, I don't know. Uh, at the end of the day you have to count for the two extra movement by max but there is only three vehicles on this area and you have plenty of units to, to walk to wall so if they attack even though if they get one or two one shots you are gonna be able to kill all of them and we see a max superpower that it's gonna be two extra movement and basically uh, 70 firepower 50 plus the global 10 percent plus um, plus the comp tower and yeah th this might look uh, weird but it's what you have to do actually because you are you are doing an all-in by by max at this point. If this uh, mega tank manages to to get here, even it's a green grid mega tank. Grid mega tanks are great for grid because they are very defensive. So they are gonna be enough to do the job, which is basically sitting on a on a HQ on a lap and not die. A snipe attack. That's the power. Boom, boom, and boom. Yeah, it was it was looking quite easy to to break. No, I'm not gonna lie, but um, Max had to do it. Ma Max had did at, at this. I mean, he. If you look, this is uh, doom, and this is not working with the move planner. Uh, you should have a retreat because you knew this was gonna happen. But I guess, um, I mean, I cannot blame him for, for, for trying, you know. And this, uh, this push is completely over because even though you somehow managed to win it, you don't have any infantry to cap this lap and you don't have the, the transport copter, the APC alive yet, so it's gonna take a while to to capture this, uh, this thingy. So what I would do now is basically I have to protect my HQ uh, and I have to kill a staff but the problem is that Grit is now coming back with the infantry uh, captures and as you can see this mega tank uh, has two ammo because uh, mega tanks the base is that they have three and it already shoot once in you suck one hp tank you suck six hp tank uh, now you can attack safely with your normal tank and safely again with your medium tank the problem that another mega tank is coming but i mean you have to do what you have to do right and that mega tank is gonna be exposed to to two neo tanks, but uh, neo tanks against a mega tank, even if it's grid, uh, they are gonna get heavily damaged. As you can see, boom, and another power. So uh, that's gonna give a uh, grid defense, uh, global uh, damage to all his units. And now, yeah, you cannot stop this capture. So this is a a resign. Max loss uh, by capture. I don't think. Uh, I think this map is quite wacky in the sense that uh, some CEOs lose lose uh, against other CEOs uh, very heavily. Like 
maybe this was a skill issue, um, no offense, in the sense that Max played Gronk, but I don't think I could have played much better than, than Max. And against Grit, is uh, is quite hard uh, to to play on this map uh, with Max. Then you win, as um, as Javier probably. You have the, the the edge, I think so. But then if you pick uh, Javier, uh, you are gonna lose against Max or Bombol. But then if you pick uh, Max or Bombol, you are gonna lose to to Javier. Oh, to, no, not to Javier, to Grit. So. Um, yeah, I think this map has a scissor uh, rock paper mechanic uh, in the CO picking department. But anyways, guys, let me uh, know what you think is the best pick on this map. Let me know if you have any matches that you would like me to cover. Um, thank you so much for everyone that is coming uh, new to the channel. The channel on the last uh, week has grown quite a bit and I'm mostly I'm gonna blame the green guy video because yeah it's the most popular video commentary on this map uh, by far not the most popular on the channel that's a meme video but but yeah anyways guys uh, thank you for watching and bye bye cheers